Hey guys, this is Pete again. This is uh, the day after I released all of the ladybugs in my greenhouse. Um, so here are some of the results for the first day after. I was just trying to focus in on that ladybug real quick. Uh, kind of surprise results. Um, so before making this video, what I did was I looked around and uh, tried to find the ladybugs. And where were they? What are they doing? I had some uh, pretty shocking results here, um, and I'm not sure if I can explain what happened. But what I noticed, and of course this isn't good because we're going down to the ground, but I noticed, unfortunately, dead ladybugs scattered around back here where I dropped them. Um, I suspect they are slowly dying because I noticed some were kind of upside down and moving their legs so they were laying on their be bellies so almost like that one was just doing so and it looks like that one's even limping so he's not doing too good um, pretty unfortunate here is another pile of ladybugs there's one in the kind of the middle there he's barely moving so a little bit surprised and what I also noticed was they are not on the plants. There's uh, there's one there, that one's dead and there's a few more up here that looks like uh, they might have died in place. Uh, there are some on the uh, uh, panels themselves uh, that I noticed that were walking around. But when I look around the leaves and stuff, there's a dead ladybug there, and there's one that looks like it's it's barely making it. Um, the results are a little shocking and disturbing because this is not what I expected. Um, when I go up in here, and you look right in between these leaves, I still see the webbing that's, that I was trying to get rid of. So, there are no ladybugs on these leaves. Uh, my objective was to use the ladybugs to get rid of these um, spider mites. And here's another dead one on top of the leaf. So, um, I'm a little curious as to what happened. I suspect that um, maybe the overnight cold air affected them or another possibility which I also suspect is uh, maybe there were some residual um, pesticide spray that was still in the greenhouse and uh, that affected ladybugs maybe they walked onto some that had oversprayed on the glass and maybe there was some spray left on the floor that hurt them so uh, kind of surprising effects but uh, when you look around at all the foliage uh, there's no ladybugs and the ones that you do see are upside down so uh, that one's not gonna make it either it's barely moving its legs so those are res the results for now. There's uh, just a few live ones compared to the, the amount that I put in here. So I'm pretty surprised at that. Um, could they be hiding in the cracks and crevices along the uh, underneath the carpet? I did find some there yesterday. Here's the front door and I'll peel it back. Um, I don't see any like I saw yesterday going down there. There's There's a couple down there but they don't look good oh, actually that one looks okay so those are the results for now uh, stay tuned uh, I'll do another video tomorrow to let you know if there's any more signs of life from any ladybugs left in here or if there's more signs that they have died uh, here's a quick note on these packs of ladybugs you can see uh, they looked kind of full yesterday but these are all the ones that are dead and didn't crawl out of the bags after I opened them so um, 
looks like almost about a quarter of the bag uh, was dead. So uh, those are my results. Here's a couple more. There's a live one, but there should be, for the amount that I put in here, there should be a lot more live ladybugs because they were flying all over the place yesterday. So there's another pile of dead ones. Real unfortunate. Uh, I was hoping this worked, but I'm not going to give up. Um, if it's because of a spray problem, I will uh, come in here. I'll hose the place down a little bit, or maybe just over time, uh, some of the insecticide will will dissipate and go away. Uh, if that doesn't work, I'm going to have to, unfortunately, go back and use uh, use spray again. So. But uh, final note here, I did notice uh, the webbing and stuff is still on that tall angel trumpet up there, the one I was having problems with. So um, at this point, I have to say uh, my experiment here did not work. Hard to tell what caused it. Uh, overnight temperatures, um, perhaps some uh, spray left. And I'm looking here, I'm trying to get your good close right in between there is uh... that's kind of thick with spider mites in there I'm trying to zoom in and out so you can see what that webbing looks like try to get a different angle real quick yeah I was surprised I didn't realize uh... I had so much in here so there's some more webbing on this uh, discolored leaf. So uh, that discolored leaf is definitely a sign of spider mites. And right in between where that leaf is, there's a real thin, it looks like a dust ball of uh, spider mites in there. So I'm going to have to monitor it and I'll get back to you. I'll find something that works. Um, hopefully I won't have to result back to any pesticides. So stay tuned. If you have any comments, uh, feel free to leave them. Thanks a lot.